Well, one more test. Um, I'm uploading um, session three um, now. And this is um, session five, I think, six. Yeah, this is session five. And I think I'm going to work on it uh, this afternoon if the lighting is going to cooperate. I think the dark shirt uh, helped a bit. But we'll let's see. Okay. I'm going to get to it. That clip wasn't so bad. Let's see. I think I'm going to kind of play with the horse. And uh, then I'm going to probably get off of the... Uh, the um, references. This will be on its own. And I'm going to use a flat brush for this. <clears throat> They're a little bit easier and I don't have, I've just got this reference there, but um, I'm going to kind of put it in. Uh, and then this painting will be on its own and I'm just going to finish it. The sun's going to come out here in a minute, uh, so I might not get very far. Um, at the moment. And I'm going to take um, dioxin purple and alizarin orange. Now it makes a really great brown. Um, and I need this bigger yeah, so I get my pony in there. Technically she's pretty big uh, so I'm going to raise her like that. And I'm after the shape of this horse more than I am anything. Uh, this is a mare. She's got a foal at her feet. And uh, I'm going to raise her up maybe that big. And a little belly. And tail is kind of like that. And this, you don't necessarily have to be a good drawer uh, to draw well, but you do have to be able to recognize shapes um, and be able to paint shapes. Because uh, that's the leg. And it kicked up a bit. Like she's not quite that much, but about like that. And she is just barely in the water. And uh, since I'm more interested in her shape, I'm going to take this little piece out. There we go. So now I've got her kind of flat into the water. And I'm going to take some of this brown um, this way down there. I'm just going to put it in there because it's going to have a reflection. All right, make some more. Dioxin purple and a lizard orange. Indian yellow could also maybe do this as well. Uh, it's a bit richer than uh, the browns out of the tube. And now we've got her. And then she is down to her baby. So I'm making it dark all the way. I got that, I think. There's one. Uh, I think I'll just take the. There's her jaw. And ear snout and basically about that like that then her front leg is kind of like this and it's almost straight um, but it'll have that little bump right there and that is about right and the other one is counterbalancing that way. And maybe it shows up right there. 
It probably does. Okay. So now I want to, because it's a shape like that sort of. And I like the fact that she's nice and dark because she's uh, with them. I mean, she's working with these darks that I've got over there. Now, I'm going to set the baby in. And the little critter is kind of like this. And there's just a little opening uh, like that. And it's right about in there. And it comes down, and and this must be dry land, but I'll, I have to swear this thing looks like it's in the water, or laying in the water anyway. So I'm going to kind of push this down a bit. Um, there's her head, a little bump, and this is the hind leg like that and there's a the tail so let's see and I think that works and I'm going to just take this and straighten it all up like that and drag the color that way because there is and I'll take the brown to uh, come through this this Mary's up over here, okay? All the way across, because this is land. All right, I'm pleased with that. Now I'm going to take some, uh, <coughs> pardon me, I'm going to take some of the Elizabeth Crimson and I'll move over to blue. And, um, and I'm going to kind of bump this up a bit right there. Fortify it maybe if you will. Put a little bit there. Not gonna have much on that. Now I think in general that kind of works. And then I'm gonna take that same brown because I didn't make um, that up a bit because this is showing up against what I already had done there go right down like this all right so that's just another way of making a dark color and it kind of works I like it in fact that shows up against how I made this color, which was uh, entirely different. Okay, now the sun's going to come down. And I'll just kind of do this to show um, and I think I'll do it. Well, we'll see. Take this red. I guess I'll take some one brilliant to show there's a highlight on uh, the little little fold that's like right there and I'm just gonna come along there like that and up the truth of that is it would be red and there would be one coming down this way And it would come like that. Catch your jaw. And a little, oops, well, didn't like that. Take it off. Kind of need that wet little bit around thing, so I'm going to come down like this. And it's a shape like this. And comes this way. And forms up that part of that leg right there and that's about as far as I'm going to go with that particular thing I'm going to do this I'll come 
dog draw that shape like that and just kind of and then I got this all right and maybe a little bit like that okay All right, now I'm just going to take the dark color into this, like that, and make some more of it. I just did that to show you um, how that would kind of work out. So I can shape it from this side as well. See? That makes it kind of nice. I'm going to take this pink and I'm going to catch a rump right there. And but you really need a better color for this. Put this to my scrap pile. And then I'm just going to, I may never change this. If this works right here, I may never change that. There we go. Alright. The rest is up. And there we go. Alright. Okay. Anything that's facing the sun will be pretty intense. So I'm going to take my dark and do a little reshape in here. And I can do this any number of times. It's more like that. All right. All right. Now, lots happens right here. And uh, so I'm playing it by ear because I don't really know. I just have to imagine it. And that's what I'm going to do. Going to imagine it. I'm going to take this yellow and put this in there. And I think I'm going to build a little bit here. Probably possible I will blow this whole thing, but not necessarily. So I'm just going to go like this. And I'm just kind of checking. work. It might. And on the other hand, why not? But we'll see. So largely what this is, is just a base underneath. And I'm going to come over it from this way once I get it in there. And I'm going to kind of put this in. See what happens. Because I'm kind of in the mood to play with color. And I'll flip it that way. On the three legs. Like that. So in some respects, this is kind of like um, coloring paint by numbers. But understand that this is just the base coat. 
and how much this actually stays is anybody's guess. And I'm going to go through. All right. So I've kind of spread the wealth there a bit. I started to play with something over here uh, yesterday that was, I kept messing around there, but didn't really have any idea exactly what I would be doing. So I'm going to kind of go like that with it. And maybe. Now, I think I'll break this clip just to make sure that uh, I'm not going to be overexposed. I've had a lot of trouble and, uh, and thinking about getting a new camera. I'm going to go shopping in a bit. Not too bad. The, uh, I'm getting some glare up there, but for the most part it's uh, okay. And uh, I'm just going to kind of clean this up just a bit. And okay. Now, um, I think I will go back to a filbert. brush a bit. Okay, so now I'll take some blue, more blue, more green, and that's a nice dark color. And let's see where I want to go. Don't know that I need this. Well, Maybe I do. There's another horse. These marks here could be horses. Um, and um, well, that would put me back in this flat brush. So let me just kind of get a color. I don't guess that really has to be anything spectacular. All right, if I were to have another horse, let's say right there, um, and I'll just put this shape in. I could take this out if I don't like it, and there's a good chance that I won't like it. So there's the head, the back. This is a Palomino. And her head is there. Neck, leg. Neck's a little bit thicker. And little ears. And so, kind of like that. And the rear of the deer is up a bit. And I assume she's probably a mare. And uh, let's see, I'll come down like that. And I'm only really seeing one leg because of the way she's standing. I'll bump this up a bit, make the head a bit bigger. And Remove this. Actually, it's two legs in there. Let me get a closer shot of her if I can. And I'm going to let me do that. No problem. I'm going to hit this again. And maybe her. Don't like the shape of that so much. That. Behind leg. That's a bit straight. Turn it. And that's down. And uh, the big one. Maybe. But I wouldn't swear to it by any means. Let's see if there's a better one. 
Yeah, I like that one. He looks like a stallion. Watch him. And, um, yeah, let's see. Kind of got rid of all my brown there. A little bit of what I should have. So, dioxin and a lizard orange. And, um, hmm. um I don't know why I'm putting them here at all. But I am. And he's like that. Back and he comes down. He's a little bit of a thing like this. And he's definitely looking at the mare. And the, um, there we go. And so he's bodied up like that. And there's all kinds of stuff going on here. He's a little bit taller, I think, but, um, um sweep that way. And I'm not so sure about this, but all right. And I'm gonna come up. Do that. looking this way. Now I've got him looking that way. And come down like that. And looking like this. And we'll kind of come through. And we'll take a little of that pink or red or whatever it is. I'm going to put right here. So we have a shape that I can see. And there's his head. All right. some water there. So let's just try that. A little pink to our watercolor. And I, I toyed with this a little bit. I've got some of it going on over there and I just may just do there a bit. Not much. I'm still not very happy with that one, but I like him. So let's just see if I. I'm not really sure about any of that. Or this. So I'm kind of, in a sense, I'm drawing my way out of this.
and we'll see. Okay, while I'm here, I'm going to take care of something. A little bit of lavender. Oops, a little bit too much, but I like getting close to something here. I just want to come in and um, go back to the mare. I think she's about like so. And a little bit like this. And I want a little of that. A little of this. And I think I'll just come on down. Take a little of that over that way, a little of this this way. And Alright. So I've kind of got her blocked in. And back to this other horse. I do like very much right here. This I know there'll be some shadows right in there to him. So if I just put that in. And it's her. She's definitely in the grass. So I think I'm gonna take that out. And I'm going to do one thing here. If I can't get this thing to kind of do what I want, then we'll get rid of it. So I'm going to put some punctuation on this. Like that. She's got a big spot right there. And a little bit of tail. And she has it there. And another thing there. And then I kind of darken these things out a bit. And she's dark all through there, really. And her whole head is dark. And there's a jaw. And her, she can't be any longer. There you go, like that, that's better. Just using a, um, sideward kind of motion. Reducing the impact of the legs. And she's coming this way. So I'll take it out and just out this way. There we go, it's a little bit better. And then I can have a nice little tail that can intersect with him maybe. That's a little better. Now I'll take that. Where the legs meet the ground, I'm going to darken them right there like that, as well as that. And I give her little ears. Oops, sort of. She's got the bag on. Now, take a little white into this color that I made over here. Put a little pink in it. And I'm going to reinstate something here. Because she's got white markings and the nice thing about the flat brush you're able to uh, to do things that almost form up to what they are that comes down. And more, get it up, get a little more, and right there. So that is sort of it. All right.
And these could be horses back there for sure. I just get a shape going now. And that could be one right there. I get too much going on this. A lot going on here. better. Okay. Perhaps I might put another one in the distance or something. Yeah. I'm already seeing. Oh, I could have one right in there maybe. So I'm just going to take some dark. into one, maybe it won't. I won't worry too much about it though. I'm gonna get rid of that one. Get a nice clean one. Let's see what I've got. Hopefully the, the sun is getting further up now. And let's just see. I'm going to take some of that red and do something. this thing with a different red. This, I guess a cadmium deep might be the right thing. I just really put a little more medium in it so it would flow and give me uh, a more intense feel right here. And I'm just lightly kind of going over this. Really there. And oh, this is not over yet. Red there. I can mess with that so much. I'm going to take that same red. Liking this part through there, and I'm going to do this. This is where the artist license comes in. I'm pretty happy with it for the first um, go around about it. Back to my original colors. Start to work on that a bit and call it a day for this. Now, let's see. Now, I've got this. So now I definitely want to put in the this land mass. And, um, oops, no, that's okay. So I'm doing that with a little green. And I'm going to spread it down this way a bit. Mix it in with the red. And I'm going to come in front of him a bit. Say him. 
create a pony. And come down, break this a little bit, give it a little more man land mass. Speak up, Chuck. And the same as there. And I guess we'll and let's come back to the well it doesn't have to actually it could be a little island. Well, I like that better. Hit it a little bit there, just lighten it up. And then and let's see, took a little bit of lizard and crimson in that color. Let's see what I get. I'm spread the wealth here a bit on this red. Right over there. A lot there. Just break it up to see. I want to kind of go through all of this so it peeks through the grass. Because that's what it would do. And a little more. And the same over here. And I'm kind of using a sideways motion on this. Take like that, come up to this, and go up like that. this up. So, kind of putting that red in there. Nice, interesting thing about the sun, it wraps around objects, the, the light. It's pretty spectacular. It got me painting the sun, really, out of the backyard here looking at it. Okay, it kind of gives to something. I just keep going with that idea. There. Should we name it Fire Engine Red? Put a little bit in there. It would be right on the um, edge of this thing. Like that. And go into there like that. Probably that way as well. More. I yeah, didn't need to have that pink or that white in it. White screws things up when you start dealing with these things. So I'm going to pump that up a bit through there. A little flat brush probably be a little better for some of this, but uh, maybe not. I can go this way as well. And some of that through here. So the green is the base 
and then all I have to do is come in through with the, uh, the red into it as a detail and da -da -dum -dum. exactly how I'm going to do some of this, but um, I do know I am going to do it. Would have guessed. Not me. just starts to get suggested out that way. All right, now I need a color. I guess it's going to be pink. That's what it was yesterday anyway. Lavendery pink. reflection basically of that. Something like that maybe. And it wouldn't be quite that intense. So I think I'll take a little of this. Well, Brian is good for a lot of stuff. This is more the color of the sky. So I'm going to kind of open that up a bit. Go through and meet. Going to meet that piece over there. Got that blue in there. I'm not sure about. And this will be in shadow. So this mark that I just put in there, that wouldn't necessarily be there when it comes to this. And it's just... ultramarine, which is kind of a grayish blue. A lot of this is made up of. And you. going to blue. So I'm going to change my blues. Look at the Seb's blue. The pink. And I kind of like this. I'm not so sure about that. want to go through that horse yet. But I do want to get some of this stuff like this in here. I 
And then, since I've got this dark color, and uh, I'll take this dark color, take two dark colors. And I'll create some variance here. This is the shadow part of this little land mass. And I'll just spread it. So that's the don't know that I needed what I just did there. Not sure I need that. Don't like it in any of it. Okay. Down through here for sure. Take dioxin. Just pure, I think. And there too. Boy, that could take forever to dry. And a little more. <clears throat> I'm here being soft spoken today. And I think I want there to be dark. shapes connect it up a bit yeah don't like that okay. and I want to Hardcore punctuation right here and there. Oops, didn't need to do that. I think got a lot of paint on it. Lots of texture. And I think back to that brown thing we worked before. Mm, quite. That's just not going to darken up quite the way I'd like it to. Now yeah, let's just put the stuff over it again. Not accomplishing anything there. Alright. changing it. Mm. 
this. My color flow. Try some blue. Okay, well, maybe. And take the blue, the lavender, red. Now I'm getting sloppy. That is the time to quit. In case you didn't know. I can pick that up and it sets up a bit. Alright, I'm going to darken this right here. Oops, well, that's not bad. Exactly what I had in mind, though. Red Sox. Hmm. We will worry about you tomorrow. But I think we are going to stop for the day. with a little palette knife. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just kind of smoothing things out a bit. So I don't have anything in my way. A little bit of result. Alright. And that's a wrap for today. I am um,
look for it to do something that I've done in the past. Here comes this crazy sun. It's the combination of several reds. Now let's see what that looks like at a different distance. The advantage I've got is I can typically come back to it. 